it's Marco Terzo here on YouTube and today I will show you the top three bicep exercises that you missed doing so far and that you absolutely need to incorporate in your workout regime. We'll be talking about strength curves. What is a strength curve? So I will show you an example. Let's do a simple bicep curl. So and here the first quarter of the motion so I just slightly curl up my forearm. This is the beginning of the strength curve. So and when I further curl up to a 90 degree angle in between my upper arm and the forearm, this is now the mid of the strength curve. And when I curl all the way up here, the last quarter of the motion, this is the end of the strength curve. Usually people are very strong when it comes to the middle of the strength curve but they're weak at the beginning and at the end of the strength curve and today I will show you three exercises or it's a series of exercises that specifically work all those three parts of the strength curve we'll begin with the beginning of the strength curve for the first exercise which is a superset then we move on with the mid of the strength curve and lastly I will show you the end of the strength curve so in order to maximize your strength gains and in also to optimize your development of the bicep, right? To have that really nice round bicep and this nice bicep peak, it's important that you're strong in all those three parts of the strength curve. So it makes sense to always take care of that for every body part, not only for the bicep. So here today you will see it for the bicep. So let's start with the first exercise. So the first exercise is a dumbbell bicep incline curl. Here to start with I set up the bench with a 75 degree angle and the key here is that you bring your arms far back. Right. Here we'll be specifically working on the beginning of the strength curve that means the first quarter of the motion right at the very beginning is harder for you guys and there you have most of the tension. And we start with the palms facing forward not with a neutral grip where the palms are facing each other you turn it forward because this gives much more stretch in the bicep and will hit the long hands so the outside of the bicep and the brachialis much harder in comparison to the neutral grip. Here you will be performing 10 reps with a good form and not too fast, slow tempo for 4 sets followed by a super set that you can see now with the hammer curls. Also here 10 reps. Right, we move on with the next one. So, the next exercise is an easy bar bicep curl. Here I show you a good way to hit the short head of the bicep and the long head of the bicep in one go. So you don't need to do two exercises, we do that with one exercise. So we start with a very wide grip. This will put stress on the short head of the bicep and then we do six reps. After those six reps, you switch to a narrow grip, right, and do further six reps. So, and then you will be working on the long head of the bicep, so the other side. And this is a great way to optimize your progress for the bicep. And here you will be working on the mid of the strength curve. So first we did the beginning, and now we did the mid of the strength curve. The finisher exercise here is a spider curl and the spider curl is a great way to emphasize the end of the strength curve so it will be the hardest at the very last quarter of the motion. So in the very end you have the peak tension and that's why it's important that you curl all the way up in order to maximize your progress for this exercise here. Here you do a drop set, so you start by doing 8 reps and then you do a drop. Take 50% of your starting weight and perform further 8 
reps for a total of four sets. So you do four sets for the right and four sets for the left side. video please make sure to hit the like button and share the video if you want me to do further videos we need to get to 3,000 subscribers so support me guys otherwise I won't do further videos no let's see but thanks for the support I'm out for today bye bye guys hey guys it's Mark Lothurza here from snowy and cold Switzerland, Zurich. Check out the beautiful view here.